It is my honor to present to you your host for this evening, Swin Cash. But the Abbott House family, it's wonderful. It's a mixture of a lot of people who work together to make other lives better. And tonight, we want to take a few moments to honor two of those volunteers, vendors, neighbors, and donors who often play, play a big role in the background. But it's important for the Abbott House to acknowledge them and move them to the forefront. And There's a lot of inspiration in this room, and a lot of inspiration from everyone who works and volunteers and, and helps Abbott House in many, many ways. When I first told my mom about the award, she said, oh, what are you going to tell them about all the chapters and all the kids and all the work the pajama program does? And I said, I think, I think that's a nice thing, but what I really want to say to everyone is inspiration will take you farther than you can imagine. And pajama program is based on love for the children at Abbott House and around the United States who need that extra love at bedtime. And that inspiration came from my mom, who's here. And she's sitting with my sister, two of the best mothers that I know in the room. So for all mothers who kiss their children at bed at night, this is for you. Thank you. O'Connor Davies is proud to partner with Abbott House. And we thank the board of directors for this recognition tonight. With me here tonight, I have several of my partners. I would like to thank them for maintaining the culture at O'Connor Davies. At all of our retreats, the common slogan is, how can we help our clients? I am accepting this award on your behalf also. I would specifically like to thank Robert Cadero, who has been my co-captain on this engagement. Finally, I would like to thank my wife, Eileen, without your support, nothing I have accomplished would be worthwhile. In conclusion, I would like to say to Mr. Houston, I am an avid basketball fan <laughs> and still playing Saturday mornings in Rockaway at PS 114. If you are in the neighborhood, I'm sure we can find a spot for you. Thank you, Alan. Thank everybody. As a foster parent for Abbott House for over five years, my wife and I um, originally wanted to adopt a small child. However, the opportunity to, uh, to foster came first with Abbott House. As while we was fostering, the young men's in youth, who we have like 17 and 18 year old, one said to me, I feel safe in your home. And another one said to me, I feel love in your home. And the words of the Bible came to me and it came alive when it says to be father to the fatherless and a shelter to the homeless. That's when I realized that a foster parent is what I wanted to be. So I take this time to ask you to give to the most vulnerable and love will be your greatest reward. Thank you, Abbott House, for allowing me to be a foster parent. Next, I just right now would like to call upon the board chairman, Greg Mooney, and the president and CEO of Abbott House, James Kaufman, to present the 2015 The Dignity of Family Life Award to Mr. Allen Houston and family, and Miss Tammy Houston as well. You know, we, we honor, obviously, family. We've had uh, some large shoulders and a strong foundation to stand on from our parents to our grandparents to our great-grandparents who all uh, were committed to education, committed to family, uh, committed to faith. Um, you know, every 
weekday morning, not on the weekends, but every weekday morning before our kids uh, go to school and, and, and Tammy and I are scrambling around trying to figure out where everybody's clothes are and everybody's getting ready. By the way, we, we have seven amazing children, beautiful children. So when, for those of you who can't see Tammy from behind the podium, you say, look at this amazing, beautiful woman and she has seven children. So you should give it up for her. And they all, they all, um, they all fortunately have her qualities. They look like her. Um, all they got from me is my allergies. <laughs> so they struggle with that. But every morning on the weekdays, we, we just say a quick family prayer before, while, while they're eating breakfast, before they go to school. Uh, we, we pray for their uh, sanity. We pray for health. We pray for their productivity. We pray for um, just, just that they, their awareness uh, that they're truly special and they're truly loved. Um, the biggest thing that we pray for uh, is, is perspective, and the perspective that uh, this life is not our own, um, that, that we, were, and we were bought at a price. You know, we're called to be something uh, truly special outside of ourselves. And um, I'm just grateful for Tammy uh, to, to really instill that every single day in them when I'm not home. Um, I'm thankful that, you know, when people ask about, wow, you had seven children, like, it's this, it's, it's, what is, what do you, they, they can't quite understand it. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm just thankful, you know, that, that, you know, Tammy, or since you're here, I'll just say it to you. I'm just thankful that you, you know, don't look at our children as, as a burden, but you look at them as a, as a blessing to other people. So I'm, I'm thankful for that. Um, I think, I'm thankful to the Abbott House. Um, and when we think about family, we think about, you know, unconditional. We think about uh, something that's eternal, and, and that's what family is. I thank you that, that that's what your definition of family is. That's what your uh, commitment to family is. Um, thank you for your vision um, from the Irvington House, which is a, a medical care center, to now it's, a, it's an extensive family care center. Thank you for your vision. Thank you for your integrity. Um, with the standards with which you do your work, which the work is required. Thank you for your commitment um, to the complexity of, of family and what that really means. Uh, thank you for your courage and your responsibility uh, to not just, like Dr. King said, not just to look at your neighbor on the, on the sidewalk and walk around them, but embrace them and help them and, and have that responsibility. And, and thank you for your, your legacy, the legacy that you're leaving these families, uh, this community um, that are benefiting from your work. Um, and just, just imagine if, if the world uh, could literally see, um, could, could literally see through your lens. Imagine the impact that we all would have on us if the world could see through your lens and, and have the same definition of family that you do. So thank you very much and continue to God, God bless you. Thank you.